Oh, Micah is here with your travel segment. And of course, this month we're going north. We're going north. We always talk about going south to Mexico and Costa Rica and all yeah. these wonderful places, Which but we awesome. don't talk about going north. So I thought I'd give some information today about Toronto. Canada is beautiful, you know, but it's such an enormous country. We've got to limit it to just one place for yeah. today. So. Um, Toronto is one of is the like fifth largest city in North America. Yeah. So it's huge. Uh, it's only three hour flight from Houston. It's easy to get really? there. Really? Yeah. Not okay. too bad at all. Not too bad. Um, it's and then once you get there, it's a, just a short drive to Niagara Falls. And I have not been to Niagara Falls yet, but apparently the Canada Canadian side is the best place to see Niagara Falls. Okay. That's where the the pretty views are. Um, there, it's a it's a very multicultural city, uh, at least half of the occupants of Toronto are from somewhere else. So you have these little pockets of different cultures like Got Koreatown it. and Little India and all these places. So uh, you can get all these different dining experiences and, and they have festivals, different festivals. So, so you can experience many, many cultures just uh, along with the Canadian culture there. Very diverse. That mm -hmm. sounds Very awesome. diverse. Yeah. The CN Tower is or used to be the tallest freestanding tower in the world. It has been surpassed by one in Dubai, but it's 1,800 feet up. So you can go get a wonderful panoramic view of the city from there. So okay. that's that's a go-to place. Everybody likes to go to the CN Tower. They have um, world-class zoos, aquariums, uh, a huge art museum that has 68,000 pieces of Jeez. art. You'd be there for a week just in that place and never see it all. So it's just a wonderful place to visit. Uh, public transportation is fantastic. So you don't have to drive when you get there. You can just hop on, hop off. You also need to get a city pass if you go, and you can get discounts to all these attractions like the museum and the aquariums and, and the uh, CN Tower. So do you recommend so, a travel agent actually putting together maybe a tour guide for you? Yes, absolutely, because so many times if you go off on a place by yourself, you spend so much time just trying to find out where you're going. Yeah. You can get lost, so it's so much easier. Just yeah, give us a call at Airport Travel, and we can get your itinerary blocked out for you. We can get reservations made, the plane, you know, the everything you need, your city passes and everything so that you just go and relax and just you know we can find personal and tour that's guides what's called and all. a true vacation that's a true vacation when you don't spend a lot of time yeah, being hop. lost or just trying to find your way around hop yeah. on a plane three hours later mm -hmm. you're in a new city just enjoying yes. new diverse things all the new things to see all the new open things to your to, eyes yes. yeah you learn so much when you travel and you will need a passport which is a good idea just to have anyway absolutely i mean it doesn't take much to get one sure and um, i was just recently but a little bit of time so uh yeah well I mean, they're wrapping us up let me okay. toss it over to dana for a final check of the weather we'll check in with you next month <laughs>